ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obit Update, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out one which is pretty close to my heart as a Scotsman and somebody who likes uh, an alcoholic beverage from time to time, Tavern Master. That's right, build your own tavern. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I played the tutorial as ever. Uh, I know what the heck I'm doing. We're going to skip this tutorial and we are going to move right on in to the game. Uh, okay, first and foremost, let's pause and let's chat about uh, what the heck is going on. Uh, this is our lovely little tavern in the, well, looks to be the middle of uh, the countryside. However, there's a, a lovely little river over here, a nice little bridge, etc. It's looking pretty good. Uh, we're gonna, you know, probably just build out the tavern just uh, a little bit, and by that I mean we're probably gonna, you know, add a wall, I don't know, like a door. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, door's supposed to go over there, and then uh, a couple of windows, that's fine. And then, just for good measure, we're probably going to add uh, a table as well. Uh, I just want to get all of this sort of in place before the game decides to start playing, so that we can uh, so that we can chat about all of the features. As you can see, uh, we've now supplied all of the tables with the appropriate number of seats, or benches, I, I guess, as, uh, as they are. However, these seats over here uh, do, not have, do not have light. So, what can we do? Well, we can deploy some candles. Uh, candles cannot be stuck on the wall, they have to be stuck on the pillars. But that's fine, a hundred bucks or a hundred medieval coins in order to get, uh, in order to get a candle is, uh, is just fine with me. Uh, so that's a pretty good seating arrangement. Uh, I'm not super unhappy with that. We can see that the weather is uh, is pretty sunny at the moment. We can have a little look at the the cash, uh, the cash flow over here, and we can also see our prestige. Now, of course, the more prestige that we have, the more guests that we're going to get. At the moment, our guests per day is at a measly 22.1. I have no idea what they've done to the 23rd guest in order to hack him into uh, 10 similar sized pieces and in order to get him into the pub, but uh, hey-ho, we are where we are. Uh, anyway, uh, next thing, next thing, if we want to run a successful tavern, it's to provide the clientele with exactly what they want. And uh, I'm no, I'm no, uh, I'm no genius, but I think, I think that people are after beer. Uh, so let's do that, let's fill up, boom, let's, uh, let's fill up the beer barrel with as much as we possibly can. And then we will, uh, we will exit out of the bar keeping mode. And then we will probably, I dare say, look at getting a few members of staff. Now, we're probably going to need a bartender. Ooh, okay, all right. Who's, who's best here? Everyone is level one. They've all got daft names. Godfrey, Frederick, Leopold, Adam. Adam's not a daft name, I suppose. It's a bit more modern. Attracts plus seven more customers per day. Gains experience two times faster. Can carry four drinks at the same time. Hmm. Who do I like the look of? I feel like seven more customers every day is pretty good. These are a lot of, these are a lot of quite intricate stats. Can carry four drinks at the same time and yet carries three drinks. Okay, let's, let's pick you. Brilliant. And then let's also get ourselves a waitress. Mood is not affected by cleaning. Can carry eight drinks at the same time. Wow, that's that's quite something. But again, you can only carry seven. Get five coin tip for every food served. Um sure. Let's 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 get you in there. Okay, uh let's unpause and let's see let's see what the heck happens. You are our waitress and you are our bartender. Brilliant. Okay, I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to that we're going to be able to make a pretty a pretty penny. That's the goal and uh, ideally expand our tavern. I I have no idea who the customers are here. It doesn't feel like we're near any town or village, but that's fine. Hey, look at that. We got our first customer. Anyone interested in buying anything? Uh, we haven't unlocked any other types of beverage at the moment, so uh, I guess we're just gonna have to wait. You look like a particularly shifty character. Drink just teleported onto the table over there. That's fine. Hey, look at that. That's That looks like a mug of ale to me. Brilliant. 
Uh, okay, so there are responsibilities here. I'm not going to worry about this altogether too, too much. We can adjust the salaries as we go. We can also get uh, XP upgrades as we go. But for now, let's let's not worry about things altogether too much. And let's just see if we can try and make a little bit of money. And stick it in two times speed as well, because uh, I don't think that we particularly need to leave it in one time speed at the moment. I'm going to keep an eye out for the, uh, the occupancy rates. We want to make sure... Wow, you are just pounding them back, friend. Um, we need to make sure that we don't ever have a, a maxed out number of customers at the table. Otherwise, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to perhaps buy a brand new table and accompanying seats. There we go. Because I don't want to max out I don't want to max out the uh, the capacity here. How are our beer and water levels? Oh, they're totally fine. They're totally totally fine. All right, that's brilliant. Cool. Okay, and then here uh, we can check out the uh, the research the research area. Uh, we're gonna start work on the kitchen research, which is uh, which is kind of nice. In order to do research, what we need to do is we need to serve customers. Here we need to serve twenty five uh, common customers, and I'm pretty certain that that's the only type of customers that we're actually receiving at the moment. Although some of these fancier looking people may be a different type of a different type of customer, but I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, as you can see, look at this. Customers served eight, eight common. I suspect that there might be a little bit of a, a visual difference for other types of, uh, for other types of customers, but hey ho. Okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm not too displeased with this. I, I think that this is looking, I think this is looking pretty darn good. I think this is looking pretty darn good. This is... This is looking wonderful. Prestige is looking particularly nice. Everyone is getting kicked out because it's 12 o'clock. Look at this. We made we made a whole bunch of money. I mean, we didn't actually make a whole bunch of money because we spent so much on uh, on setup costs. But that's not bad. That's not bad. Average occupancy, 100%. That's, that is that is that is pretty good. You love to see it. Uh, Research-wise, we're most of the way through there. There's quite an expansive tech tree, actually. Unlimited chefs, unlimited kitchens. We're gonna do it. We are gonna do it. Oh, look at this. You're ready for an upgrade as well. Let's stick some points into carrying speed. We don't have stairs, so that's worthless. Speed carrying? Sure. Speed carrying is, is just fine, I think. Yeah. All right, brilliant. Well, I think at that point, we're probably ready to start the new day. Uh, we don't even need to refill the beer or the water yet, but that's fine. We're probably going to be ready to start building out the kitchen at some point. 7 a.m. Customers already ready to rock and roll. Always good to see. Support local businesses and all that. Okay, that's good. That's real good. Uh, Godfrey, you're ready for an upgrade as well. Carries two drinks, speed not carrying, drink pouring. Let's let's increase drink pouring because that's that's literally your job. Perhaps that's a little bit mean, but I mean it literally is your job, right? How much am I charging for alcohol? I don't even I don't even know if I can adjust my my charging. Seven guests per day, plus one waitress, special events. Ooh, I'm looking forward to special events, actually. That's going to be good. Also, serving food. I think serving food is going to be a... Is going to be a real cash cow, if you know what I mean. Uh, is there any sort of prestige-style events that we can, we can do? We've already got the one bar. Candle stand does give us a whole bunch of prestige, but, I mean, there's not really much point in doing it. Decorations might be a slightly more cost-effective way of getting prestige, but I don't really feel the need to increase my prestige at this moment. I think I'd rather just save for the, the kitchen, which I know I'm going to be able to build either at the end of today, or if I'm, if I'm unlucky and it's kind of expensive, then we'll probably get to it tomorrow, I guess. But for four o'clock in the afternoon, I don't think that we can really be too unhappy. Salaries, 16 bucks. Drinks sold, 116. Bonuses, 39. Those bonuses, by the way, are going to go through the freaking roof once we get uh, once we get kitchens. Uh, here is 800 bonus, so you have enough money to build it. Oh, beautiful. 
Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I'm delighted. I, I have no idea who the venture capital fund uh, that is behind behind me uh, at this point, but this is this is great news. Okay, can I get can I get some additional walls? I feel like the kitchen should probably go like what here? Yeah. Floor texture. Or maybe, maybe that, if it's the kitchen, right? Let's keep it open plan for now. I mean, it seems like a good idea to let the customers see where their cockroaches are being cooked. Let's start work on seven guests per day. And then let's see if we can build out the kitchen. Let's see if we can just freaking build it. Okay, how expensive is it? Not very at all. Plate shelf, let's, let's go. A counter. Let's go. Uh, oh, I see. It needs to be it needs to be over there. Right. That's somewhat of a. That's somewhat of a. That's somewhat of an inconvenience. Let's move this over to here. Yeah, that's perfect. So we got serving area, serving area, chef area. At least I think that that's what the what the video game is trying to tell me. And then we've got a crate for some random reason, which is just going to chill right over there. Ooh, I like that. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, it comes with it comes with a whole bunch of this stuff. All right, brilliant. Okay, well, I think I think we should be ready to go. I think we should be ready to go. Uh to cook this food you need to have a crate fireplace grill on the chopping table oh yeah we can't we can't add that to the menu quite yet uh but we are getting there okay so i think as long as we hire a chef we should be good to go uh two two gold bonus for every soup served good soup walking speed doesn't decrease when carrying something attracts seven more customers every day mood decreases 20 percent slower uh, i'm gonna take the i'm gonna take the good soup the good soup chef okay Let's let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. You know what? This is an absolutely stupid design. I mean, we should just move. We should just move everything over here. There's no point in making the the kitchen as big as it is. There we go. All right. Anyone want food? I tell you what. We're probably in need of another waitress. Oh man, the tips that we're gonna get from the the waitresses delivering f delivering food is just crazy. And actually, we should probably get another bench here. Strong table. Should we get a strong table? A long table. Conceit eight. Let's go. Let's let's freaking go, eh? Um, okay, looks like we're just going with the regular benches. And by regular benches, I mean, uh, we're getting some regular benches, but we're not getting enough regular benches. That's fine. Look, we made a significant amount of, uh, of investment in our infrastructure today. Took us a little while to get there, but it's fine. Uh, members of staff, we need to get more of them. I mean, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty apparent to me. We need to hit... We need to hit uh, this bit of research next immediately. Yeah, because we need more waitresses. Lemonade would be good, but there's no point in there's no point in doing that until we can until we can actually serve the guests. Oh, I did get the opportunity to finish that out. All right, I think it's time. How are we doing for beer and water refill? All uh, not quite yet, but I will probably over the course of today uh, hit the bar up with a little bit of a refill. It would also be nice if we could maybe get another well you are unhappy you are you are very unhappy unfortunately. Yeah drinks cleaning food room service well room service is not a thing that we do yet so there you go. Anyone want food? Anyone want soup? Nobody wants soup that's disappointing. Okay, I think she's doing a, I think she's doing a grand old job of 
delivering all the drinks. There's lots of orders coming through here. For food, it looks like. Yeah, okay, all right, it's fine. Let's get you, let's get you leveled up as well. Oh man, you are very expensive. Speed not carrying, uh, let's increase speed not carrying, sure. I guess 50% of the time you're carrying something, the other 50% of the time you're not carrying something, so if we boost the speed of either of those components, then it's a net positive. Man, this is a, this is a, this is a lot of work. This is a lot, a lot of work for one singular waitress. And I tell you what, look at that. That ability to carry four drinks at the same time is, is pretty handy, actually. That's pretty good. That is really good, in fact. Is there an ability to carry all of these drink cups back? Yeah, okay, I see that. It looks like, it looks like the waitress can carry more than more than four empty cups back and it looks like the cleaning operation in fact that should probably be set up in oh what's a missing what's a missing ingredient sure just buy it buy everything max it out uh we should probably set you as having cleaning uh, as a slightly less high priority given that i'm i'm okay with things accumulating on the tables much better if we're delivering delivering stuff. Also, these tips that we're getting, the six extra, the five tip uh, for every food served, that's good. That's really, really good. What is your happiness level? 83%. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Oh, we can level up the apple pie. Heck yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And you are also going to get a level up too. Let's go. What do we think? What do we think? Uh, desserts, soups, speed. I think I might actually just do speed because I don't really know. I don't think there's many people that are getting desserts. But maybe that's just me. Uh, three people until we can get another waitress. That's going to make a huge difference. Then we can really start trying to increase the number of guests per day. Now, in an ideal world, the next waitress hire is going to be somebody who's qualified to carry a large number of drinks. Uh, let's increase drink pouring. Yes, please. On the bartender. Yeah, uh, ideally the next waitress is somebody who's able to carry a large amount of drinks so that they can do the cleaning slightly more effectively because this person that we've got here... Uh, Madeline, you are our server. So there you go. Okay, gains experience two times faster, attracts seven more customers per day, or another person to do the tips. But you carry five drinks. I, I will take you. I will take you. That's brilliant. Let's get you, let's get you in here. And then let's start work on the lemonade. And that's going to allow us to move towards special events. And I got to be honest... I am pretty happy with this setup at the moment. We've got a little bit of spare capacity. And it's, it, it, wow, it, we have a little bit of spare capacity, but really not that much. It's surprising how quickly, it's surprising how quickly it's, uh, it's surprising how quickly it is being, it is being eroded. Okay, so Madeline, you are on cleaning, which I think is fine. I'm going to try and boost your, yes, level up, and level up that too. I'm going to see if we can try and boost Madeline's carrying capacity. Failing that, if it's already properly maxed out, as I suspect it is, we're going to boost your speed whilst carrying. I think that's the that's the plan. Wow, are we at full occupancy? I think we're at full occupancy. Is there not a time limit that we can set on the number of time uh, or the amount of time that patrons spend in the bar? Honestly, I can't wait until the end of the day because at the end of the day when everyone leaves, I just make massive progress on my research. Unfortunately, though, we only need one customer today to leave. Hey, look at that. Okay, so we got one customer to leave, and then... We 
because the because I started the brand new uh, the brand new event, we got what like 14 extra. We got 14 extra progress towards the special event thing. That's pretty good. That's really really good. Okay, lemonade barrel, excellent. Let's top up everything. Uh, we cannot buy the wine barrel yet, although we shall be able to do that soon. What's what's up? You're not you're not happy. Let's let's increase your your wage a little bit. You're you're pretty good. We we like you here. We like you here, Madeline. You're you're great. You're a true asset to the team. Okay, uh, we're gonna be able to to get special events today. That's quite exciting. We also have to understand that quite a lot of money was spent. Uh, appreciably, we spent quite a lot on. Uh, ooh. Yep, we spent quite a lot uh, getting that lemonade barrel up and running, but that's going to be good for us. It's going to be good. Unfortunately, I can't adjust the amount that I uh, the amount that I sell it for. Supply and demand doesn't seem to be quite as rigorous as it is in uh, in reality. Okay, uh, what do we want? Let's get tips. Let's max out tips. Sure. I feel like. If you're serving drinks for four, and you're getting a tip for three, you're basically just doubling your cash for nothing, right? It's pretty much just that simple. Unless I'm missing something. Right, an expansion is in order, I think. Unfortunately, I cannot move the tables in this interface. There we go, let's get that shunted up there. Let's get another table in here. Not a strong table, just a regular table is is fine. That in there, that in there. Okay, so that... Oh, we made some people unhappy. Oh, I do apologize. I do apologize. However, I guess we still... We still got their... Uh, we still got their points towards research, which is kind of nice. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. 20, 20, 20 people to serve per day. Now, special events. I suspect that they're going to allow us to unlock this new type of person. Drink price. Oh, we're so close to being able to get that. That's that's going to be great. It's going to make such a colossal difference. Level 1 cherry cake. I'm pretty sure that increases the price that I sell it at, right? It totally does. Yeah, it absolutely does. This is looking so good. This is looking so brilliant. Okay, I need to get drink price next, right? Because I just want to absolutely fleece my customers. I want to make sure that they uh, are paying through the teeth. Okay. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. All right. Whatever. Ale. Ale is what we're working on. All right, what do we got here? No events planned. Ooh. 20 guests. Water lemonade for four bucks. Reward 200. Yeah. Sure, let's go. Uh, let's do another one of those, I guess. Okay, so we can only plan like two weeks in advance. But that's that's fine. I'm not going to upgrade you quite yet, bud, just in case. Uh, keep my... Uh, keep my bits and bobs cheap. Hey, look at that. We got 20, we got 20 guests. All the guests for this event have been served. You've received your 200 as a reward. Wow. Uh, that's ludicrous. That was so easy. They just came all in at once. Literally, one group. Now, how do I kick them out? Alright, refill that. You're a little bit unhappy. I appreciate that. Let's get you... Let's get you boosted a little bit. Uh, Godfrey, let's get you leveled. Sure. Let's max out your drink pouring speed. Okay, and you know what? Let's put drinks on the high priority again. Sure. And let's make sure... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's lo that's looking good. Let's level up the fruit bowl. It's pretty excellent. 
So have we just wasted basically an entire day on the landed gentry here? I don't even know what type of customer this is. What is it? Yeah. I start. So did I start? Have I started work on the the ale? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I have. I would love to kick some of these some of these guests out and get some some regular people in. But I tell you what, I am making quite a lot of money. That's pretty good. That's pretty decent. And to be honest, we need more prestige in order to hit uh, like additional additional events. Battle victory celebration. That's right. Believe it or not, they'll actually have their battle in order to accommodate uh, the party at my place. Helga, let's not upgrade you quite yet. Okay, so this has been quite an interesting and eventful day, actually. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna upgrade. Uh, we'll get that refilled whilst I'm here. Sure. I was gonna upgrade you, wasn't I? Yeah. Let's get you upgraded and let's max out tips, max out speed whilst carrying as well. I think tips might low-key just be the most useful. All right, that was hugely profitable. Okay, ale, we, we are definitely going to get ale done. If not tomorrow, maybe the day after. We might just be able to get these, uh, I guess, these fancy guests normally. They might just come as walk-ins. Alternatively, they might not. They might not, and it might be a little bit more irritating for us to get, uh, to get ale, but... Hey ho, what do you need? You need a little, uh, you need a little salary bump. All right, I, I get it. I, I see how it is. It's, it's all good. It is all good. So let's go to stats here. Yeah, customer serve. We're looking, we're looking for this. We're looking, we're looking for reds. We're looking for red customers. That's that's kind of what we're after. And then the other thing that we probably need to consider is. Well, obviously, like an increase in prestige. That's that's always something that we need to pursue. But maybe increased capacity? Decorations, a suit of armor. A suit of armor seems quite obnoxious, and I kind of like it. One of those. Globe, yep. A bookshelf. Absolutely. Uh, let's put the bookshelf in... Here. All right, we did spend rather a lot on decorations there, but unfortunately not quite enough to take us over the limit. There we go, 1,000 prestige. Brilliant. That's going to allow us to get uh, this. Cool. Let's not plan anything quite yet, just because... If we can get wine before then, that would be great, but I doubt we'll get wine. I doubt we'll get wine before then. Definitely gonna get ale, and maybe drink price on the same day? But to be honest, I'm not really that bothered about the drink price anymore. I needed I needed the drink price, the ability to manipulate the drink price when uh, when I didn't have any money, but now I've got the money. That's the That's the thing. There we go. Looking good. Maybe another chest for the for the kitchen. I don't even I don't even think we need that to be honest. I think we're fine. 83 guests per day. That's a lot of guests per day. A lot of prestige that we've got coming in right now. And to be honest, we could probably do with more members of staff if we were allowed to get them, but unfortunately we're not. God, this bartender does absolutely nothing. Like, shockingly... Shockingly lame. The cleaning, the table cleaning is, uh, is the real problem here. Yeah. Alright, we spent a lot of money, we spent a lot of money on decorations, but it, it happens, that's okay. Okay, so what, we've got the, the party tomorrow. The party tomorrow, that's fine. We're going to try and get ale and drink price done probably maybe at the same time on the same day. That would be good. So what does that leave today for? That leaves today for, I suspect, 
a bit of... You have to recreate a fireplace. Go to the kitchen menu where you can buy these items. Yeah, I think we bought everything from the kitchen that we can buy at the moment. Yeah, fireplace grill, we need... Uh, we need more stuff from the research tech tree. Yeah, we really are quite limited by research at this point. Yeah. I'd also like to know if we can just get, like, casual red guests as walk-ins, maybe... Plus two waitresses. Milk, cider, and mead. Ooh, plus one bar. Researchers. This is good. New floor. One kitchen. I like this. I like this a lot. This is this is good. We got potential here. We got potential. We got real potential. Right. Uh, I think what we need to do... Oh, Mike quit tomorrow. Who's, who's Abram? Uh, okay, level you up, sure. Don't don't moan too much. Increase your salary a little bit. Yeah, I bet you're I bet you're happy with that salary. It's, it's pretty freaking great. Okay, uh, let's go drinks. Speed carrying, sure. Oh, and we need more. There we go, more ingredients. I think I need to get a second crate, right? Level up the cherry cake. All right, good. 10 p.m. at night. Let's evacuate the customers, and then let's begin tomorrow. I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving. Uh, level that up, and Godfrey, you're so, so bad. Okay. That's looking good. That's looking good. Okay, party tomorrow. Research is being completed tomorrow. We know that it's happening. We know that it's happening. We've got that to look forward to. Cream rolls. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty fine. All right, let's, uh, ooh. We're going to level up Helga as well. Let's get speed carrying. Yep. And start the next day. Okay, it's party time. I didn't realize it was an exclusive party, but there you go. It, it is, apparently. Uh, I think today, as well as hosting a whole bunch of, you know, I guess, you know, posh local people, as well as hosting a whole bunch of peeps, we are going to see if we can try and expand the, expand the tavern. We shall break new ground. Okay, how big can we make this thing? Pretty big. I mean, do I just want to go for it? It's a little... It's a little obnoxious, isn't it? It's a little obnoxious. Wow, okay. Uh, sure. The floor is free, which is quite nice. This is a very, very large area. Okay, uh, good. What about lighting? How, how, yeah, how are we for lighting? Candle stand. Oh, that's huge. Nice. Candle. Uh, it'll probably be fine. Yeah. Wall lamp's pretty good as well. Candle stand's better, though. It's just arguably better. have to put this item next to a pillar. Okay, all right. Let's let's not worry about that. Uh, what have we got? A Lux table? I like the idea of a Lux table. Heavy table? I think I want a long table just for capacity at the moment, please. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, let's not let's not spend any more cash. I am quite content to leave this as it is. Does, does the window matter? If we get a if we get a window in the in the thing, I'm not yeah. This is purely decorative windows. They don't actually <laughs> Sure, we can have a window between the kitchen. <laughs> between the kitchen and the rest of the tavern. I like this. This is a good looking tavern. 
And we still have 500 bucks left. That's that's pretty that's pretty darn great. That is pretty darn great. Okay, I feel like I need to do some shenanigans. Okay, so let's move this. Let's move this. So that's going to make you unhappy. But it does... Eh, I was a way to say it does count as a research person. Apparently it doesn't. Okay, so if we... If we have any unhappy customers leaving us, that ain't gonna count for that ain't gonna count for nothing uh, in terms of research, which is which is a bit of a shame. But hey ho. Anyway, uh, these customers are drinking exclusively lemonade and water, so we're gonna have to replenish our lemonade and water stockpile. Uh, this must be a fun crowd. This must be a really, really, really fun crowd. But as long as they're tipping, I don't particularly care. It doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, okay. So ale, drink price. I mean, ale is gonna make us ale is gonna make us an insane amount of money. Wait, so in a couple of days, I can like just I can have events every day? Oh, I guess is if you have an event, you can only have it, like, every three days. I, I see. I see, I see, I see. Well, I tell you what. That is not an altogether... An altogether too bad day. Average number of stars, 4% chance for... Oh, I see. 4% chance for, uh... For one of these customers to walk in. So if we're able to improve our food, then we're gonna have we're gonna start to have uh, some walk-ins, which is quite nice. Right, drink price or wine? I actually, funnily enough, think that wine is probably a higher priority at the moment. You are unhappy. Increase your salary to that. How are our salaries in the moment? Um, not bad actually. Not bad. Very, very, very okay. Yeah, so am I reading this correctly? 4% chance. Literally a 4% chance for a walk-in... For a walk-in customer to be a red. Which means, if we've got 90 guests per day, should have roughly 4. Not quite 4. Maybe like roughly 3. Roughly 3 reds per... Per day. If we're lucky. And, of course, if I'm able to keep up with the uh, the occupancy rates and we're able to ensure that there are uh, there's always a, a seat spare. Which, I mean, if I... If I manage to make this work, then that will probably be the case. We managed to get wine. Oh, I should get ale. I should get ale on the bar, eh? There we go. Refill all. Some ingredients are missing. Nice. Wow, that was an expensive... That was an expensive lot of ale. Could really do with some more... Uh, waitresses at this moment in time. That would be very, very handy. But alas, it's fine. Okay, 24, 24 common customers. That's okay. Still not getting near the capacity, which is pretty good. Any special events that I should plan? Uh, I think we'll be able to do a wine tasting. I'm not sure that I really want to, though. Do I need... Do I need... To do a wine tasting? You've not unlocked the requirements. Oh, we need to get wine before we do the, the wine tasting? That's fine. I mean, the, the reason that I was confident in doing that is because I know that by the time that we get to that point, I will have unlocked the wine. Okay, so we could unlock the chef, the additional chef right now, but we need 10, 10 yellow peeps. Right, did we serve any reds? We served one off the street red. That's good. That's really, really good. So we're making progress. We're making pro- we're making progress. <clears throat> now, you're unhappy. You need a little, uh, a little cash- Little cash booster. Same with you. Go oh, forty-five. This is expensive, unbelievably expensive to keep uh, keep operations in order here. Okay, I mean, I really just need to increase the amount of 
I really just need to increase the amount of, uh, of stars that we're getting. That's kind of what we need. We need people to order more cream rolls. We need people to order more food so that I can get more good people. Okay, let's get... Uh, let's get another table. A heavy table this time, perhaps? No, you know, I think we want to keep it... I think we want to keep it cheap. A simple bench, deluxe bench. It just seems... What's the point, you know? A bench is a bench. Maybe that's not what the posh folks think, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, a bench is a bench. I wonder, though. I wonder if, perhaps, average action duration. Serve drinks takes 26 seconds. Take food order 19 seconds. Prepare food. See, I don't know if that's a lot. I don't know if that's a lot. Average occupancy is 65. That's a good number to see. Like, the, we always want this number to be less than 100. If it's 100, then to me that says we got a problem. Let's not upgrade Godfrey at the moment. That's fine. We served any... No, we've not served any reds yet. Food crate is missing a few things. Let's top that up. No reason not to, of course. We're pretty near full capacity here and uh i'm almost certain that yeah our take food order time skyrocketed serve drink time skyrocketed it's taken a long 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 time to do stuff i tell you what helga you're not on food you need to prioritize food here helga you can prioritize drinks okay let's increase your carrying speeds I would like to upgrade the, the waitresses if at all possible, because that is probably the, the weakest part of the the weakest part of the setup right now. Ooh, look at that. We got one we got one yellow. That's cool. Two yellows. Two yellows and two reds at the close of play. That's that's okay. Alright, well, let's get wine. Let's get wine. We need to get wine in order to unlock the next the next thingy. All the guests have been served. Brilliant. Uh, unfortunately, the guests have to stick around. Let's uh, continue to max you out, I guess. Main courses. Sure. Skill for main course. Excellent. Godfrey. I mean, everyone is very, very swiftly approaching max level here. Which is quite nice. Kind of want to increase my prestige a little bit more. But I'm also kind of just holding off until we get the uh, the ability to get the new floor. Because that, that is going to be useful. I feel like we're just, we're just at that point. We're just at that point where things are going to start going freaking crazy. If I just allow them to get crazy. Barrel storage. Automatically refill all the barrels in the kitchen. Okay, that would be super useful. Hotel functionality. That would be pretty useful. Ability to make soup. Big hotel furniture. Cool. Unlimited waitresses. Another new floor. Unlimited chefs. Unlimited bars. Unlimited kitchens. It's it's all it's all popping off later down the the research tree, but I just need to get I need to get this next special event done. I need to get this done. Water, beer, and ale for six, and that's forty guests. Can we maybe push to that? Yeah, let's push to that. What do we what do we got? Decorations. Get another suit of armor. Sure, second suit of armor there. That's pretty good. And then we will get the special event booked in for like two days time or whatever. We'll get this one. That's 40 guests. So that at least gives us more people. More people, more momentum forwards. We're going to we're gonna get wine. Drink price we can probably just do anyway. With just the, the walk-ins off the street. Chef? I don't think that we need another chef, to be honest. I, I definitely need two waitresses. That's that's really what I'm in aid of. That's really what I need. Uh, researchers as well. Researchers might be quite nice, but I don't think that there's much chance that we can make that happen. 
let's get drink price done because apparently that's what we have to do at this moment in time. And then we just have to hope for a couple of a couple of walk-ins. How are we doing in terms of menu items? Yeah, not bad, not bad. We're about to hit three stars on cream rolls and fruit bowls. And we're not far off on the old apple pie either. We're not far off, we're not far off. Plus, of course, we are continuing to spend money on prestige, which means that we're increasing our number of guests per day to a uh, pretty tremendous level, actually. Refill everything here. Uh, refill everything in food storage. Check out our members of staff. Helga, you're unhappy. Boost your salary to 40 bucks. You're pretty far away from an upgrade there. That's fine. Okay, man, salaries are costing me an absolute arm and a leg. Holy cow. Look at the number of drinks that we need to serve. Please, can we serve some drinks? Thank you very much. I really need more waitresses. I am, like, desperate for more waitresses. Average one star. Still average 4%. 4% chance. Hmm. What if we take stuff off the menu? What if we take our low star stuff off the menu? Okay, that doesn't change the average. Because, theoretically... Wait, it must include stuff that we don't have on the menu. Because average 1.1 star... We've got nothing that's 1.1 star, so surely the average should be 2 point... I don't know, 2.7 or 2.8 stars? If my brain is not... completely gone. Serve the drinks, you want to serve the drinks? Okay, don't understand why you're not serving the drinks, even though it's your second priority thing to do. I mean, the way that we resolve this is, of course, is just by getting more waitresses so that I don't have to worry about all this nonsense, but it's fine. Two reds have come through the door. How many of this lot do you reckon are reds? I reckon there's another two reds in here. There probably is. Mathematically, it's quite likely to be... to be the case. Serve drinks takes over a minute. Wow, that's embarrassing. Take food orders, not bad, though. Okay, there were no additional red guests in there. That's pretty disappointing, to be honest. Let's get you boosted, shall we? Let's go speed whilst carrying. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, we got a pretty good team here. We got a pretty good team. I, I don't think that we need to fire anyone. I don't think we want to fire anyone. I think everyone is, is just fine. I can maybe optimize the traits a little bit more next time, but that's fine. Uh, still 4% chance for reds. Got the apple pie to level up next. Cherry cake also. Bread, a little further behind, but not much. Let's actually just make sure that we can always maintain a good level of food and drink. That is very, very important to me. We've got an event coming up tomorrow, which is going to give us 40 guests. Now... I think the order of operations is drink price, then fireplace grill. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Let's let's look at spending some money and upping our prestige, eh? I mean, we can book a special event for... Yeah, we need to start getting some of these yellow boys. All that we require is beer and ale. And, of course, 2,000 prestige. 2, 000, well, 2,500, actually, isn't it? Yeah, 2,500. Wow, okay. But a lot of money. A lot of money in that. We're not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to do... We're not going to be able to do what we need to do quite yet. There's one prestige for every three coins. This is one prestige for... Hold on. Uh, okay. Yeah, so this is as cost-effective as, as this. Let's half that down to 250. So is this actually... this? I think that actually might be more cost-effective than... than this, right? Yeah, it, this is total. The globe is way more cost effective. 
The globe is way more cost effective than anything else. Fireplace, 200. 200 prestige for 1,000. Uh, yeah. Banners. Shields. Okay, I think the globe is the way to go, right? Unless I'm missing something. I think that is actually leg legitimately the best way to do it. So we're just going to have like a, a wall of globes. I know it's insane, but it's probably going to work. And we're going to get a good, uh, a good amount of cash tomorrow anyway from, from our party. We're going to get, what, 400 bucks? All we need to do is just sit the people down. That's it. All right. Uh, oh, this is a nice little breakdown here. All right, 42 from decorations, 28 from barrels and bars, 72 from prestige. Nice. Seven from research tree, seven from special staff traits. Yeah, your staff trait, I got to be honest. Um, what's your name? Godfrey. Yeah, your special trait is kind of garbage. Kind of useless to me. Seven more customers per day. Useless. 5%. Brilliant. Helga, let's get the next day started. Oh, who's this? Who is this? What are you doing? Uh, do you mind? That's a full barrel. I just filled it up a moment ago. He just, he just walked in. He just walked in. And stole a barrel of lemonade. Hilarious. You love to see it. I mean, you hate to see it, but it was quite funny. Okay, uh, guards. Oh, nice. We can get a guard. Jack, Gail, Henry. Well, Henry's got a hat. And the others don't. Henry, congratulations. You've got the job. That's why you should always dress smart for your interviews. You know, that's, that's what you got to do. Just in case, you know? Also, I think that we have capacity. We've got exactly 40 seats. And we are sitting everyone. Wow, brilliant. Okay. Well, you know what we need to do? We buy more globes. We buy more globes. That takes us up to 2380. Two more globes today. Well, three more. Three more. And we're good. We are good. We are good if we get, like, another couple of globes. We're across the line. All right, let's get you jacked up one last time. And then maybe we'll fire you. Nice. And we need one more. In fact, we can actually just do a plant. That's fine. Okay. Let's get the, let's get the special event booked in. Let's get the special event for these executioners meetup. Ooh, I do like the idea of that. Let's get that in the diary in a minute. So drinks price we'll do. Then we'll do fireplace. Fireplace thingy. Uh, yeah, fireplace grill. I'm hopeful, actually. If I'm... If I'm clever, if I'm clever and if I'm, if I'm able to time this right, just as the moon, just as the moon rises, we should be able to time this because I think that it only counts the research as people actually leave. So the second that we see the research complete for the drinks prices, we're going to start the next thing. We're gonna do fireplace grill, and we're gonna we're gonna nab this uh, we're gonna nab this event. There we go, and everyone is gonna leave. And how much did I get done? I did seven. Okay, unfortunate. It looks like a, a great number of people left all at once, but it's fine. It's okay. Let's get uh, let's get a battle victory celebration. Sure. 
It's going to get us a thousand bucks. It's pretty good. All I need to be able to do is get 13 red people in two days. 13 red people in two days, then this is going to free us up to do this uh, chef event, which I think is going to be useful. Or the chef research, I should say. We have a 5% chance. We have a 5% chance of these guests being being red, which basically means... Also, we need to build... Don't have enough money. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, yeah, 5%, which basically means... I mean, what? We got roughly 5 out of 100. Look, roughly 10. Roughly 10 a day. By my very, very, very rough calculations. Wow. The drinks times are horrific. They are truly the worst. This, this is horrific. I, I don't know how it can get any, I don't know how it can get any worse. Sure, skill for soups, skill for main courses, increase, increase. Can we increase Henry's ability? Oh, we can give him, we can give him new kit. <laughs> he already came with his own hat. Chance to defend against low threat, medium threat, and high threat. Okay, we should probably get you jacked out. Sure, just give him, like, a monster sword. <laughs> Poor Henry. Medium threat is 100. Okay, we're gonna get... We're gonna get Henry properly kitted out. Oh my goodness, who the heck is that? That's a mage thing? You've got to be a special character, right? Or maybe you're just dressed fancy. I don't know. Prestige is looking good. Guests looking good. This is all... This is all good. 13... 13 people. Right, the predictions. How many how many are we actually gonna serve? Average occupancy, that's pretty good. 87%. Love to see it. Ooh, purple. I think that was. I think that was purple. Unfortunately, um, at this rate, unless we get unbelievably lucky. Unless we get unbelievably lucky, we're currently heading for a uh, Oh, we don't have enough money. Uh, oh, change prices. Yes. Increase everything. Oh, decrease. Oh, we can't decrease it anymore. That's a shame. Okay, leave it. Leave it as low as possible. 65, sure. My goodness gracious me. All I need... All I need is 13. Well, 12 now. 12 reds. 12 reds and we are good. That's it. I'm going to need to get another table. Unfortunately, I can only get a small table. There we go. What about pies? Are we better? Still on 5%. We've got a 1%. How on earth are we not getting... How on earth are we not getting more reds? I really feel like we should be getting more reds at this rate. Also, that's, that's a fancy table. An accidental purchase of a fancy table. I just meant, I just meant it to be a, a terrible table. I do apologize. Uh, yep, yeah, that in there. Seats. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay, that's a little bit better. I think we need more. I think we need more space. I really think that we need more space. I don't believe it. I don't even... Th I think if we build more tables, then more people will come. We're not going to be able to serve them, because of course we won't be able to serve them. Because frankly, we are... We are well over capacity. I can't take out any more loans, unfortunately. 
And uh, we don't have any more waitresses to do any waiting. Nine people. Nine people. Are, are, are there nine people in this lot here? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be stuffed. We can certainly do our best though. Get four more people in. Hope that they're good honorable clientele. And just continue to continue to increase capacity here. Even if it's one bench at a time. As long as we get nine people, nine freaking people through the door, that's that's all that I care about. Nine reds, that is. This is a packed pub. Nobody is getting served, though. This is much like a real pub. Four? Three? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, that's such a shame. That is such a flippin' shame. Alright, well, we got a whole bunch of knights coming in today. Who are gonna all sit down. We get a grand as a reward. Which is quite nice. I like how, you know, this guy's sat at a table by himself. Just because lonely and all that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that that's a problem. That's a problem, really. It's sort of set our research agenda back a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's problematic. All drinks cost ten. Oh, price can't be changed during an event. That's a bit of a shame. I would love to... I'd love to bump the price even more at, uh, at an event, to be honest. Look, I, I think I'm going to fire you, Godfrey. Have to pay his salary? Yeah, get out of here, Godfrey. Yeah, just go. Go, 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 go. And then we'll get a new... We'll get a new Godfrey. Mood decreases 20% slower. Um... Not really in love with anyone here. Randall. Yeah, not not great. Okay, I'm not gonna plan any more events. Pirate Gathering, Ale and Mead. Yeah, we don't have either of those. Viking theme party, Merlin the Wizard. We've already had. We've already had uh already had Purple Boys visit. That's fine. Prince visit. King and Queen Feast. Yeah, like, that's not the problem. The problem is, is that we just can't get... Can't get the reds that we need. That's the real issue here. The real issue. And that's the problem. We can't get the reds that we need off the off the streets. It's a, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, okay, tables. What is the best table... You know what? I'm going to just spam out a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of tables here. It's going to be a game changer. Right. Might... End up costing me an arm and a leg. But uh, it's worth it. Oh yeah, there's also a little bit of darkness here, but that's fine. Okay, tomorrow is going to be the real litmus test of how well how well things go. Helga, let's get you leveled up, and let's do that. Okay, we're we're approaching a maxed out a maxed out member of staff here. That's pretty nice to consider, actually. All right, the knights are. I've all spent a day in the pub, which is kind of insane. Aha! Oh. Nice. Nice. I tell you what, it was worth spending that money. It was worth spending that money on uh, on Henry, or whatever his name is. I'm sorry I can't even remember the boy's name. Alright. Everything should be lit equally now. That's great. Look at you. I'm pretty sure if you're a knight, that means you're a, you're a yellow. It's pretty good. Okay, well, the good news is that we're definitely going to get Fireplace Grilled today. Which is going to unlock a couple of new foodstuffs for us. Very, very exciting. Doesn't fix the problem uh, that we have been having recently, where there is 
absolutely 0% chance of delivering to everyone. Because we just don't have enough waiters. Or waitresses. How are we doing for beverages? Not bad. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep prices uh prices pretty low at the moment. But to be honest, we should probably adjust that. So that we can meet uh so that we can meet supply with demand, you know? Nice. Nice, everyone having a drink. Brilliant. We still have some more spaces. Seats. Let's go. Nice. Nice and nice. Okay. That's every single table with a seat. It is quite hectic. Now, if I look at my response times, a minute to serve drinks, minute to take a food order, 20 seconds to prepare, 20 seconds to serve. Okay. So the service and the preparation of food actually very, very fine. It is, of course, just the other stuff that is the problem. Look at this, look at this area. They've not even received a single thing of drinks yet. Man, I would love to be able to unlock an extra waitress sooner. That would be, that would be real nice. That would be real nice. The fact that I haven't unlocked the fireplace grill yet is astounding to me. Absolutely astounding. Okay, let's get, let's get, uh, sure, let's get some pirates. Oh, we haven't unlocked uh, mead yet. Okay, fine. Get the battle victory celebration in there. That's okay. It's not going to make a huge difference. I would. I, I don't want yellows. I don't want yellows. I just want reds. Just video game. Give me reds. How on earth are we getting more yellows when uh, we must have three reds in here? Seven yellows and zero reds. I feel like that might be like a like a mathematical impossibility. Because 5% chance for red, 3% chance for yellow. How on earth have we not managed to, to, to get that? To get that research done? I don't believe it. I, I, I actually do not believe it. That is, that is so unlikely. That is so unbelievably unlikely. Uh, can we build another bar? I don't think that we can build another bar, can we? We've already built a, uh, a bar. You've already purchased the maximum number. Yeah, I mean, without another bar, or if we're allowed to hire another bar, are we perhaps allowed to get more waitresses to serve that bar specifically? It might make a difference, you never know. 6% chance for reds. I'm not convinced that that's actually 6%. I feel like that might be a bug. Because at this point, that is what is holding me back. I am, I am singular, singularly unable to make progress on the research tree unless I get those reds. It's, it's quite, quite literally that simple. It is quite literally that simple. And yet I just can't seem to do it. Well, I guess we'll see. I'll, I, I guess we'll see at the close of play today, right? Uh, sure. Desserts. Let's do desserts. I suppose we do have a couple of desserts on the menu. We got the cherry cake. And I guess apple pie counts as a dessert too. Probably. There we go. Cream rolls leveled up. Apple pie leveled up. Average star is 1.6. I don't know how you get 1.6 out of this, but there you go. I would hope that we would get okay just serve drinks you know just literally only serve drinks please both just serve drinks are we gonna do it don't worry about cleaning just just worry about getting the drinks out Maybe I've just been unbelievable. Ah, hallelujah, we did it. Okay, 100. Uh... Let's go, let's go chef. I mean, I know that we've got an event tomorrow, so we need to do that. Okay, good. We served 100. We served 100 common. Only seven reds, though. How on earth is that 
how on earth is that possible? Like, it's just not possible. It's just not. I, I, I just refuse. I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe it. Okay, great. Uh, well, we're working... We're working on the drinks. This time, we are absolutely prioritizing the drinks over food. Even though... It looked like Helga just delivered food there. Even though that's a high priority thing for, for her to do. Don't know why that's the case. Don't know why that's the case at all. Nobody likes vegetables. Nobody likes meat. Probably because it's not on our menu. Oh, I will get another thing for the kitchen though. There we go. And let's get some new stuff on the menu, eh? Roast fish and a bowl of chicken. Literally a bowl of chicken. You love to see it. Okay, at least we know that we're gonna guarantee... Gonna guarantee this today. Uh... Problem is, if I wanna get... We, we can do an ex executioner's meetup, that's not a problem. But I need to do basically two executioner's meetups in order to get all of... In order to get all of the reds for another two waitresses? Like, that is just such a large impediment. I feel like there needs to be an, an option for waitresses earlier on. Like, before the extra chef. Like, I, I, I just... I just need... I just need more waitresses. I mean, look at the number of drinks that are on the bar. That is ludicrous. I got plenty of money. I've got nothing that I need to spend it on. A 7% chance for reds. And yet, uh, in actuality, we don't get 7% of, uh, of reds. Also, that's a five-star apple pie. I didn't even realize, but that's, that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. I will say, I do like the look of this tavern. It's expanded rapidly. I'm just disappointed that I'm not able to, to stick an extra floor on it. I mean, I'm able to stick an extra floor on it. I just haven't, uh, I haven't been able to get through the tech tree. I mean, maybe if I was to get researchers, that would help. That would potentially be good. Chopping table, 14 guests per day. Would definitely be able to do that. I'm going to set my sights on the waitresses. I think this will be our last day. Well, sure. We'll, we'll hire another chef for the little that it's going to cost us. And let's just, let's just hope... Let's just hope and hope and hope that we're going to be able to get a hundred, a hundred reds through the door today. I know for a fact that that is not going to be the case, but you never know. We might get lucky. We might get lucky. We might be able to serve a hundred reds. I sincerely doubt it, but alas, here we are. Almost 3,500 uh, prestige though. That's pretty nice. What's, uh, what's the, what's the prestige event that's 3,500 XP? There's nothing. Viking is next at 5,000. Okay. So you could say that we're a wee ways off that. Very much so. One singular guest. One singular red guest thus far. Yeah, okay. It looks like my waitresses, they're not being very efficient with their time they seem to be they seem to be just taking shockingly few drinks to uh to patrons tables at the same time two red guests wow okay that's a little better than nothing but i mean it's still just about nothing and it looks like we're pretty much at full capacity here we're passing up on what basically 120 guests a day by my rough calculations if we got 120 seats here and we got you know this many people that are passing out the front we must be passing up on a lot of guests if i look helga and madeline they're both actually very very happy pretty much just about the best versions of themselves. Gets five tip for every food served. You know what? Maybe I fire you. 
Maybe I fire you. Can carry eight drinks at the same time? You're slightly better. Uh, actually, you're better. Let's, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get rid of Helga as well. Let's get rid of Helga. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's get you leveled up. Cool. Start next day. I know that you're going to get defeated. Of course you're going to get defeated. No match for, no match for Henry. All right, let's hire a new person. Gains experience twice as fast. Oh, I wanted somebody who was, who was able to carry more drinks. Randall? That's fine. Okay, so Alice, you're able to carry a lot of drinks. Everyone is able to carry a lot of drinks now. So one person can carry five, one person can carry eight. I think that is good. It means we're going to get way less in tips. But everyone can move reasonably fast. And therefore, I think that that is going to be good for us. What the heck was that? Maybe it's partly to do with the fact that my... Maybe it's partly to do with the design of my, uh, or the layout of my tables. If I was to maybe get rid of these tables here, would that make a difference? There we go. Okay, so that's going to upset people, obviously. I don't care. If I get a main thoroughfare here, is that going to allow the waitresses to perhaps move slightly more, slightly more freely? They just move somewhat erratically around the place. Yeah, I mean, it looks slightly better. I think I just need more of them. I, I really do just need more waitresses, which is, uh, which is a real shame. 87 additional people. I think we are serving potentially more people. But maybe only just... We're definitely nowhere near our max capacity. To be honest, I should change prices and I should increase to the absolute max. Maybe decrease them a little bit. Yeah, so we should be we should be trying to we should be trying to max out our, our profit here. Especially if we're not able to deal with uh, the level of customers that we have at the moment. But that's kind of the opposite of what you want to be doing because we need these red people. And we're just not getting them. We're not getting them. We've got the special event tomorrow that's going to give us 50, but I mean, that's... That's an entire day's worth. 92, 6, 2, and 1. That's pretty... That's pretty disappointing. That's pretty disappointing, to be honest. But, um, but alas, that is where we are. Uh, okay, folks, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this up. This has been... Tavern Master. I've enjoyed this, to be honest. I think it needs a little bit of a little bit of balance. Uh, the waitress thing is deeply frustrating because I I have the capability for a big old tavern here. We've got a big old tavern. Uh, we just do not have the uh, the waitressing staff. So if that's changed, this is a hearty recommend from me. Uh, but on that note, ladies and gents, we're gonna wrap things up. Thank you as ever to fantastic Patreon supporters. Patreon.com forward slash bit of potato. Thanks to Banana Nana Nana and Aurelio from the two twenty-five dollar plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.